My name is Rhapsody, welcome back to Slay the Spies Daily Challenge for the 2nd of March 2020. The characters are silent. We start with five copies of a single card. Colorless cards can now appear in rewards and Big Game Hunter elite enemies are now swarming the Spire and drop better rewards. This might just be an interesting run. Especially having the colorless options. Ooh, baby. Oh, good lord. All right, well, so our goal now is get as, uh, as much draw as we can get our hands on. There is a five elite path. I am obliged to try and take it. I am going to need to get pretty powerful pretty early to feel comfortable with what I'm about to do here. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Got him. Colors potions good pickup. Uh, swift strike? <laughs> to go with all my slices? I should definitely go with the acrobatics, though, instead, right? It's all the draw I'm asking for. Upgrade. Okay. First upgrade should probably go in the neutralize for the extra turn of weakness. Two defends got upgraded there. That's actually both of them pretty good hits. Ugh. Koi. Okay, so every time we add a card to the deck, we're getting nine gold. We'll do that basically every time we go to a uh, card selection. So it's going to be a lot of money for us, but we've taken a lot of damage before the first elite even. Choke, obviously. Uh, okay, I'm going to use a colorless potion here looking for something that I should... Oh, yikes. Looking for something that would have actually helped us there. Clearly didn't find it. Apotheosis would have been obviously the best pull. All right. Yeah, I'm not going to perfect this fight. With the amount of dazed and slices we'll have in the next hand, it's just not happening. Um, yeah, I was doing that because if I drew another slice, I would have had lethal. At the very least, this does set, uh, does set me up for uh, the ability to kill that with a single strike. Honestly, we didn't take as much damage here as I expected. Uh, especially considering the way that we're drafting our deck, we might want to consider something like a, a thousand cuts. Because the elites drop better rewards, they're dropping rares. Mummified hand, whenever you pay a power card, a random card in hand costs zero for the rest of the turn. Baby. Uh, it has to be Wraithful. Stop me from having to defend myself. It's a power, so it works with the mummified hand already. I'm gonna need an extra turn of intangibility out of that one, definitely. I want to open up with a choke turn, ideally, here. I just don't want to open up with Wraith Form. I've got defense left in the deck, so I should be okay. Yeah. In fact, totally fine already. Yeah, uh, hmm. Okay, Let's see if I can actually defend myself this turn. That's a hard no on the defend yourself. Fine. Oh, Wraithform, do you really have to turn up this late now? Rude, Wraithform. Just rude. Okay. Tiny chest, every fourth question mark room is a treasure room. In Venom? Baby, okay. Yeah, uh, this is a weird deck, but I'm into it. Akebeko, your first attack each combat deals eight additional damage. Let's go Wraithform as soon as possible here, I think. Just give me the license to be as aggressive as I possibly can be right now. Right. Well, life uh, suddenly gets very difficult here. 
I was thinking I would have killed the uh, the thing, the frontliner, the sentry, uh, that is. Last turn? Uh, turns out, nah. Nah, nah. Ugh, gotta hope for a decent draw here. That'll do exactly, thankfully. Top managers, whenever you discard a card during your turn, gain three, apotheosis. Heal me. It theoretically could have. It didn't, mind, but it could have. Uh, yeah, life is hard. I probably take like a, a master strategy and fire potion here just to try and end the fight as quickly as I can. Maybe we also take the piercing whale. Quick slash is just damage plus draw a card though. Yeah, damage plus draw a card. Okay. If that hit the choke, I would have been really happy with it. I think I might open up with a, a Wraith Form turn, especially if I have enough attacks in the same hand. Oh, what am I talking about? Obviously, I'm waiting for Apotheosis. Really? Unfortunately, Apotheosis being on the very bottom of the deck is awful for us. So I still need to play it. I just have to accept damage. Ow. One down. Only took five damage for this fight. Yeah, Art of War, if you don't play any attacks during your turn, gain additional energy next turn, as well as Sadistic Nature. Whenever you apply a debuff to an enemy, they take three damage. Uh, so that'll be every time I hit them because of the, the Envenom. But Master of Strategy is like all the draw that I keep asking for. I'm going to take that first. Sadistic Nature is nice, though. I'd like it. Cool. Got a Flex Potion. Honestly, in terms of saving our health, that Flex Potion is going to be a lot better. I might pop both this turn. There we go. Bottled Lightning upon pickup choose a skill. Start each combat with their own being hand. Obviously, uh, Phantasmal Killer. Yeah, PK kind of fits in this deck as well. I really think I need to... I, I, abs I have to rest here. I don't have the choice. I'd love not to, but I have to. Do I want to put him down next turn? Gives me another turn to draw in Venom, especially. Sure. Good. Wish I could have done more damage that turn, but it's fine. I think it's just triple defend this turn. Acrobatics or quick slash both either leave me open to an attack or draw something I probably don't want to draw. Uh, okay, I can put the enemy on the ground this turn with those and then the fire potion. I'm going to see if I can perfect this fight. It's going to rely on like a... Wraith form, why? It's going to rely on a wraith form very early here. Which uh, is, is why the reaction was... <laughs> about that. Yeah, we're not going to be able to defend next turn. Dang it. All right. Well, look. We're no longer really going for score at this point. I'm okay with that. Because this deck is super interesting. Even if we're not a score runner, we can have a good deck.
Adrenaline, definitely. Uh, transformal strikes and defense, maybe. I don't have any defense in the deck if I do that, though. That's really rough. Ceramic Fish is going to be so much money for us over the course of the run. We can't take Ectoplasm. All right. Let's go for it. Risk it all with the Coffee Dripper. Because we're probably going to need to heal. So basically, I'm just saying that I'm going to get powerful faster than I'm going to encounter encounters that I can't deal with and need to heal as a result of. Which is... Frankly, probably not a great bet for me to be making. God, I would have loved to play all of the other cards in that hand, but... Let's start with the Wraith form there. To be intangible for this turn. Enemy's not even attacking. Never mind. Wraith form saved us no damage. I'm okay with that being in my next hand. What with the double damage and all. Next pot, as well as pre-upgraded Cloak and Dagger. Yeah. Just a valuable card in general, that one. Hmm. I need to stop drawing when I don't have the energy to actually play the important cards that I want to draw. I keep doing it to myself. Our potion, as well as... I'll take a blur. Dang it. Extra potion slots, but we did get the writhe. Fine. Slice it. Should I... Master of strategy? You know what? I will. What I'm looking for here is neutralize. There we go. Weakening the enemy, preventing me from taking damage. And then I'll Phantasmal Killer, Cloak and Dagger, and just double strike as well. Okay, with PK in this hand, we should be able to kill. Really? Never mind. I mean, I guess we did inflict lethal that turn. Like, the enemy will die with no more attacks. Uh, Crippling Cloud. Pre-upgraded already. I mean, I am kind of weakening the enemies with poison, and I do need more weakening here. Yeah, sure. I'll take it. Or rather, I have in Venom to poison the enemies, rather. Maybe I blur Survivor. Yeah, let's blur Survivor this turn, not attack. Just defends me for the sake of being able to attack as much as I want this turn. I don't have, like, an AoE attack or anything like that. Yeah, so I may as well just throw out a slice. Rather than pass it by. Great. I am actually really enjoying playing with PK a little bit here. Don't oftentimes get to. Although I do try and fit it into decks constantly. I don't know, I just like multipliers, you know? Especially with the amount of Watcher I've played, I've gotten a lot of respect for multipliers in this game. Sneaky Strike, Panacea, Catalyst. Fine, thank you. Closest there would be Panacea. Use that to save the stats from a potion. I'll use that to save the stats from a potion or to save myself from Wraith Form. I really need that Apotheosis upgraded. So badly. Okay. 
not made weak or vulnerable this turn, but I am going to be weakened this turn. That's a problem. Uh... At least I'm not going to be made vulnerable. Oh, sorry, vulnerable, entangled rather, so that I wouldn't be able to attack. Because wouldn't it suck if I wasn't able to attack this turn? Anyway, let's play my... Wait, what? That Panacea just protected us from one dex loss at that point, but... I mean, I'm not getting back to it anyway, so may as well play it. I'm not going to use acrobatics. I just played a lot of shivs. Uh, shivs, sorry, a lot of slices. The chance that, yeah, I draw a bunch of slices immediately after is quite low. Horncleat is at the uh, start, rather, of your second turn. Gain 14 block. Storm of Steel burst unload. Storm of Steel is actually, like, pretty good for us because discarding our whole hand is a lot of block. I'll take the three elites with a guaranteed early shop here, actually. Kunai. Every time to play three attacks in single turn, gain one dex. And panache. <laughs> Maybe it's panache after image? No, I can't afford both of those. Oh my god, I'm one off of being able to afford both. <clears throat> Rude. Wait, hang on, am I? No, I can have both of those. Yeah, that's what we do then. I know, Kunai is incredible, but... But... These already provide something also incredible to us. Definitely gonna cloak and dagger this turn. Do I crippling cloud for defense? No, oh, I need to apotheosis for damage. It'll end the fight so much faster that it ultimately will save us more HP, I believe. Get him with the Pothiosis. Yep. That panache is a good pickup here. Another Apotheosis? I mean, I already have a guaranteed one in my opening hand. There's no reason for that. Secret technique to pull out... Usually Adrenaline here? Sure, I guess. Choose your bracelet. Normally, me encounters are no longer encountered in question mark rooms. I'm going to go to more question mark rooms now as a result of taking that. If I'm not going for score, I don't care if that lives this turn. Anything else I need to pull out of the deck first? I'm going to secret technique out Adrenaline, just in case. Okay. Beautiful. Get myself a heck of a lot of defense for this turn. What I was looking for there was obviously Panache. Ended up finding it, though. Beauty. Oh, good fight, bud. Good fight. Paper Crane. Ooh, baby. Enemies with weak deal 40% less damage rather than 25% less. We'll take another Master of Strategy. Yeah, I like that I actually get to really lean into this build now. Uh, I need Apotheosis upgraded, but I think I upgrade that, like, right there rather than miss out on another question mark being open. Lantern, start each turn. Uh, start each turn. Oh god, it'd be so good if it was start each turn. Start each uh, combat with digital energy. Okay, 
extra block this turn, and then, oh hell yeah, time to go off. I mean, I've got the panache. No need to do anything else there. Pantograph, start each boss combat with 25 extra HP. I don't think it's Fadistic Nature anymore. I think it's just another Panache. Maybe it's Master of Strategy. Get three copies. No, I want to get to my Panache earlier. I like it. Five Apparitions. Yeah, that's Collector's Bonus for us, as well as extends the benefit that we get from Wraith Form effectively. Uh, Smith here has to be Apotheosis. Save us an extra energy. I want the extra energy next turn more than I want to play, you know, tiny damage against the Collector right now. Great. Take a peek out? Oh no, we should take a, take a Griffin Cloud out, I think. Cool. Very cool. Now that I've got all of my setup except for Panache done, life has become a lot easier. God, I really want a Phantasmal Killer, but I don't have that many attack cards left in the deck, so it makes sense not to. Wraith form with no loss per turn. Yeah, I gotta love that. And then I even deny, I think, weakness here. Yeah, weakness is the first thing they apply. Then vulnerable, then frail. Oh, baby. 28 damage to all enemies whenever I play five cards and I can hardly stop playing cards for the life of me. I really like how this run is going. Another in Venom? No, Storm of Steel is like overperforming. We'll take another Storm of Steel, I think. Uh, no. My potion's better. Ooh, speaking of potions being better, Corn Ship. Double the effectiveness of potions. Thank you. I'm actually really pleased that I got the, the potion belt now. Before this, I was like, yeah, but I also got a writhe. And now I'm like, yeah, and it gave me a writhe, and I don't care. Complete 360 right there. So that I can moonwalk away from the previous position I held. I'm going to take this shop. Bunch of questos and a shop. I mean, you know it's got my name all over it. Just gonna cripple a cloud here. Hmm. I like that I've started to get the apparitions out so I can attack. Pretty, uh, pretty recklessly here. End the turn. I don't need to take another damage. Definitely don't need the fairy in a bottle. Uh, dodge and roll. Nice spray. Bane. Well, okay, yeah, let's take the bane. What with the Invenom already in the deck? Lose a Flex Potion? Sure. I don't want to lose the money because I'm about to go to a shop and it might be important there. 
So we got the bronze thorns. We have three thorns at the start of each combat. Bronze scales, sorry. I like having after image in the opening hand. I don't know if I can consistently guarantee that I'll have it there though. I mean, obviously I can upgrade it and it become a, uh, becomes a Nate, but I, I don't know if I want to do that. I mean, I guess if I have a rest that I have nothing else to do it, there's no reason not to. I do kind of like how aggressive my opening hands often are though. Oh, hell yes. Get him. Nash is so fun. Discovery d uh, d Discovery creates another card that is also zero cost. So it's, it's perfect. You can always play the card it gives you. Another master of strategy there, definitely. I'm also thinking about the blade dance, but that's literally just because I want more zero cost cards in the deck for the sake of the panaches. But I'm already functioning well. It's not like I need it. I'm going to take whenever you enter a rest site, start the next combat with two extra energy, and then also remove the writhe from the deck. Whetstone? That was never really going to upgrade anything worthwhile for us. Oh, hello, Wraithform. Weird to see you here. So I'm intangible for a bunch of turns, so I don't need to attack any of the daggers the enemy creates. Just kind of need to focus on my own damage here. Repto's going to weaken us this turn, which is actually a little annoying though. Well, at least they weakened me for what was already a pretty slow turn rather than an absolutely banging turn like this one. Pen nib, every 10th attack deals double damage. Take another Storm of Steel. Uh, the point at which I start getting two Storms of Steel in the same hand is the point at which I'm like, eh, no more Storms of Steel for me, thank you. At least after image lowers the cost of other cards in my hand with the mummified hand, so it's worthful. Worthful! Ooh, I just invented a new word! I kind of like it! Yeah, it's in the exact same... It's, it's not a lexical gap, it's already fulfilled by worthwhile, but... Yeah, and so is worthy. Oh my god, Storm of Steel got lowered in the cost? Cool, I can actually play other cards now. There I guess. There we go. Just a decent amount of damage to the giant head. Unfortunately, we only got 22 cards in a single turn there, rather than the 25 we need for k k k k k k k k combo. Thank you for weakening me. How dare you. Thousand cards. I've been looking for thousand cards, just haven't found it yet. Fingers crossed. 
I don't necessarily need it, but I do want it. So I want to play two more attacks here, ideally. Uh, probably only going to get one. Yeah. Shuriken! Every time you play three attacks in a single turn, gain one strong. Yeah, that'll work. Oh, there's a thousand cards. Do I actually want it, though? Especially with gaining strength. I'm thinking it's Phantasmal Killer now instead. I also really want Phantasmal Killer, so it works fine both ways for me. Darkstone Periant is unlikely to do anything for us this run. Um, one, two. Get him. We'll get more intangibility in the next hand. I don't have to worry about taking out the knives here. The deck is full to brimming with intangibility right now. Oh, look, some intangibility. If only we had some sort of clue that something like that might happen. Oh, this is so rude. Smiling Mask as well as another Wraith form. Transformer card. I mean, that's just like a basic strike transform, right? Yeah. Flash of Steel, significantly better. So much better. Like, obviously, like, no matter what it transformed, not no matter what, but most of the things that it transformed into there would have been better for us. But... Not as better for us as that was. Not as good for us, rather, as that was. Ah, thank you for the, the thorns there working out for us. I'll take a Blade Dance pre-upgraded, definitely. Almost triggers Panache by itself. Just incrementing the Pendib. Unfortunately, I don't get a double double damage turn. I mean, unless, unless I decide to hold now, but then next turn the enemy's intangible. So, I, yeah, playing Phantasmal Killer there meant nothing. Keep playing it on the wrong turn. I got to remember this enemy becomes intangible half the time. My only goal now is play as many shivs as is required to poison up the enemy as well as shuriken. Great. Easy. Fossilized Helix, prevent the first time you lose HP each combat, take another after image for a ridiculous amount of defense. I don't even need my intangibility now. Upgrade all cards you can no longer heal. We literally don't have time to heal at all at this point anyway. I had apotheosis. So that had there's one benefit still to upgrading all cards. And that's the uh it put the Oh my god, I can't believe I did that instantly. Uh it put the after image in our opening hand, but the after image I would have just put in my opening hand in that space anyway. That's my bad. That's a big old MB right there. My uh, my fingers thought faster than my brain did. Oh my gosh, <laughs> two panaches. Oh my god, all of the panaches. Ugh. 
I mean, I don't need to stop playing cards for a while right now. I can't double double damage next turn, right? Deal double damage for the next two turns. No, I, I've definitely tested that in the past. I just wanted to make sure. Uh-oh. Hang on. Whoops. Accidentally killed on turn one. If we perfected the first boss, this actually would have been like a really good scoring run. 1348. We did end up with combo. Oh, it's 20 cards in a single turn. Right, 25 for the score. 20 cards in a single turn. Got it. Yeah, like 14, 48. I think that would have put us... I think that would have put us in the top three, actually, if we had have gotten that perfect on the first boss. Nope, never mind. It wouldn't have. We put me down here. At least it would have put me on the first page, though. Instead, we just had a hell of a run right there. You gotta love it when panache actually works because I've tried it a lot recently and not had it necessarily go the way I'd hoped. For the moment, my name is Rhapsody. The name of the game has been Slay the Spire. Hopefully you've been enjoying yourselves and hopefully we'll see you next time.